Are you struggling to get the highest performance out of your PC, but your OS has not been optimized? In this video I'm gonna show you how to optimize Windows 10 or 11 to boost your FPS, fix stutters and FPS drops for gaming, so let's dive straight into it. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for the optimization of your ping while you play games, using your wired or wireless connection, so get this paid program free from my description, and play your game with lower ping. First go to Core Isolation Settings. And basically you guys want to have this off, since it will reduce the amount of FPS stutters you get, not gonna necessarily get you more FPS, but it's gonna keep your FPS a lot more stable. It's definitely gonna help with a lot of major FPS as stutters now. Another window setting you should be using is your graphics setting basically. You guys want to make Fortnite the high performance. You guys can simply do that by going into the browse and finding and finding the Fortnite client. When 60 for shipping basically once you guys add that, you guys can change the graphics preference to high performance which basically just prioritizes Fortnite's performance in reducing your graphic. Now go to my website I give link in the description and download the optimized Windows pack from this website and follow me. Now once you have this thing open, go into performance and you guys want to make sure to drag all these into the 1000 just so everything is quick and responsive. And next you want to check all of these tweaks over here. All like disabling different services, different window setting that basically just improve responsiveness and improve performance. Now go ahead and press apply the tweaks should be good. Now in the security and privacy, we're basically just gonna turn off user tracking and disabling our OneDrive. Once again, just apply the tweaks. Now at the top in the privacy tab, make sure to check all these tweaks over here. Guys can read through these and some things you might actually want to keep for me, like Cortana, but other than that, all these stuff are definitely really useless. Guys could keep like disable app access to camera. But other than that you should be good. So go ahead and apply those tweaks. And from there you should be set with the Windows tweaker. Okay so the next thing we're gonna be using is process lasso. Basically we're gonna be using this to configure Fortnite's priority mode. So go ahead and load up Fortnite and also have process lasso open. But once Fortnite is open in the background you guys wanna find Fortnite in process lasso. And over here in Fortnite client win64. You guys want to right click that and click on CPU priority. Go into current and make sure it's on high. Now in power profile, you guys want to make sure it's on none. And then under in more go into hard throttle. Go into always and make sure I have no throttle. And that should be it for process lasso. Just make sure to have process lasso open every time you're running Fortnite. Since it is kind of like task manager, where you guys can just mess around with its priority set. As a next step guys, I'm gonna recommend you the gear up booster, which you can trade for absolutely With the free. link in description, just make sure that you launch the tool and select Fortnite and it's gonna automatically find for you. The best DNS server in your near, for the least amount of latency. As you can see I only get 11 milliseconds latency, which is giving me already a huge improvement of over 100%. I've been using this for any game switch. I'm playing here right now on my PC. And the best part about it is, it's also searching actively in the background. While you're actually playing for the best DNS servers, it's consistently also you. showing you the connection between your PC and the router and the router and the actual game server. So therefore, as mentioned, make sure to check it out with the link in description. So go ahead and go in your keyboard. Windows Plus are type in reg edit. Go into the HK local machine. Go into software, go into the Microsoft. Now find Windows NT should be over here. There we go, go into the current version. Now go into multimedia, which is should see system profile. Open that up basically. What you guys wanna do is create a new D word value. You guys wanna rename this into network. Throttling index once you have named that. Now open it up and make sure to have hex to decimal set. Now in the value data, you guys wanna type in eat F01 to three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Press okay. And that should make your PC more responsive, especially for gaming. Now, you should also see system responsiveness. Open that up. And you guys want to make sure to have the value set at zero. Now under system profile, you guys should see task. Open that up and go into games. And basically, you guys want to create another D word value. Rename it into GPU priority. Now open it up and go into hexadecimal once again and change the value data to eight. Now once again, create another D word value and name it a priority. Once again open it up, make sure it's on hexadecimal, and change the value to 6. And that should be set for the registry editor. I can just go ahead and search up services, click enter OK. So the first thing is these to Bluetooth services. Right here if you guys don't use Bluetooth, you guys can go ahead and disable that. Cause Bluetooth does cause a little bit of delay and latency. 
So, you guys can go ahead and just right click these two and click stop if you don't use any Bluetooth to services. Now scroll down until you guys find dialog blocking services. Right click into its properties and you guys want to make sure the startup is disabled. For that keep scrolling and you guys should be seeing like either like your mouse softwares or your keyboard softwares and some of these actually start up automatically. Whenever you open up your PC, you guys can just go into its properties and disable it from starting up. You guys can do that for all the services. It's definitely really unnecessary for all these stuff to be running in the background. Scroll down until you guys find system main. Shown this many times on my channel before, but definitely you guys should disable it. You guys can scroll down until user experience, versulation services. Make sure to have that as well disabled. And then you guys should be finding Windows search, which is right here. Make sure to have that on disabled. And then there's a bunch of Xbox stuff that you should be disabling. If you're not using Xbox guys, can go ahead and just disable all those from starting up. And once that is set, you should be good for the services. Now in your 3D setting, I have it on like the default setting. So I'm just gonna show you guys what to turn off and what to turn on so anti-strophic filtering. You guys want to make sure that is Gamma off. correction. Make sure that is off and for its mode. You guys want to make sure that is off as well. Now going to the DSR factors, make sure that is off. Now for low latency mode, I definitely suggest you guys just try and error it. Go into a game see if off is better if not. You guys can keep that thing on, but for me personally I keep it on. Now down into open gel options. You wanna make sure to both have it on auto, which should be the default setting. And in power management mode, obviously, you guys wanna make sure to have Prefer it on. Prefer maximum performance texture filtering. You guys wanna make sure have that on. And then for the trilinear optimization, you guys wanna make sure have that on. Reddit optimization, make sure have that off and we should be good to go. You guys can just go ahead and press apply. Now you guys also want to make sure to have use my advanced 3D settings option. I used to use just a performance preset, but using a custom 3D image setting is definitely a lot better for your performance since it's more thoroughly optimized. So here is the optimized window settings for your PC so please make sure to like this video and subscribe my channel so goodbye.